all right, I'm, I'm in a class right now and I've challenged the students to write uh, something uh, on the topic of their interest in five minutes or to make a video. So I'm, I'm doing the challenge myself and making a video. And the topic that I came up with is maximizing fulfillment. Sorry. Maximizing fulfillment instead of only maximizing returns. Now I understand uh, in business, right, we, uh, or in investing, we typically think, I gotta maximize returns. But at the end of your life, and not even at the end of your life, I mean, it's, yes, at the end of your life, you're going to wish you maximized fulfillment and maximized connection and maximized service instead of maximizing returns. And actually, not even at the end of your life, probably at the end of, at the beginning of each year, you probably promise yourself, I'm going to maximize wellness, fulfillment, connection, service, growth, true growth, personal growth, not investing growth or business growth. When you are inspired about the true purpose of life, those are the kinds of maximizations you tend to make and not on, uh, I'm going to make more money, I'm going to make more money with less effort, which of course is helpful and important as well. But you got to think about it. There are oftentimes this, you know, priorities that you choose between the two. So let me explain. Um, right now I'm, I'm about to teach a class uh, next, uh, yes, it starts next week actually. Uh, does it start next week? It does start next week. About uh, money and investing and do it in a more, from a more conscious perspective. And for investors, typical thought is maximize returns with, with the least effort and the least risk, right? And I'm like, you know, at the end of my life, I will wish that my money was placed into companies and funds that prioritized environmental wellness, social wellness, and that were governed well uh, so that they're, they're, uh, they were doing things ethically. Like that's what I hope I will say that my money was working for those things rather than working for helping you know tobacco companies be more successful helping gambling gambling companies get more people gambling you know things like that so that's an example of where it's like you know at the end of my life and probably every year i'm like yes my money was working for the good of the world and the returns are decent it doesn't have to be the highest returns because i'm sure gambling companies if i invested in gambling companies they probably have quite high returns if they addict people tobacco companies and gambling companies they addict people to tobacco or gambling and they make more money it's true you know of course the higher higher returns weapons manufacturers especially in, in, in unstable global times of course they're going to make more money than companies that are trying to do good things in the world but the companies doing good things in the world make enough money and I don't have to have a you know, 30% return or even a 15% return. I'm okay with the average historical returns of 7 to 10% because I know that where I can make more returns is really in, in my business. And I think that's probably true for all of you as well. Um, if you build an audience, which I talk about all the time, if you invest in building an audience that trusts you because you have shown up consistently to give of yourself, to give helpful or inspiring content, to give of your own presence. That is actually the best investment because in the future, if you have an audience that trusts you, you can sell anything. Or if you really need to, you can ask for financial support and they will give it to you. So when we maximize connection and fulfillment and personal growth, we maximize our well-being. And by maximizing our well-being, you end up having a great life, even if you're not making more money than the next person, but you have a truly purposeful and fulfilling life. And isn't that what we all really want? So there's my five minutes impromptu talk on the topic I came up with in one minute. I hope that was helpful or interesting. And uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. Take care.